Okay, episode 17, part 3. Wouldn't the opposite be better? Convince her manager to drop her. The problem is that we don't have their phone number. We don't even know their name. We could always do some research. Maybe his name is somewhere in her al on her album. Uh, we could look. I bought one not that long ago. Are you guys going to let me finish or what? We all stopped talking immediately. To make her want to leave everything here, we have to present her with something way better, like a manager with more influence who is capable of launching her to stardom. Wait, I thought that the aim was to punish her, not to help her. Don't interrupt me. I'm talking about what we need to make her believe. The manager we are going to propose is Lee. I have heard some <laughs> I heard someone spit out their juice behind me. <laughs> Lee, but he doesn't look like a manager. Plus, he is timid. He doesn't talk much. He doesn't have the right attitude to be a he just can't do it. I agree with Lysander. Stop it, all right? He needs a little makeover. But after that, it will be a piece of cake. I'm not sure. Uh, sorry, but who is Lee? Oh, yeah, he never met him. It's Rosalia's boyfriend and Lysander's older brother. He owns the clothing shop. Okay. And has Deborah ever seen him? I don't know. I wouldn't have suggested it if I didn't already know. She's never seen him. Besides him, who could play that role? Dake, but I think he is already back in Australia. Let's do it then. We could try to make Lee the perfect manager. That's the plan. We can meet up tomorrow then. No, not all of them. No, no, not all of us. We'll make small groups. Groups, why? We will be faster, that's all. We need a group to find the clothes for Lee and another to find information about managers. Uh, did you say that Lysander's brother owns a clothing shop? Why can't he take care of that on his own? He needs to start getting into character tonight. He won't have the time to find a suit. Something is telling me that the night is going to be long for him. <laughs> Sobaka Tenshi. Um, what do you want to do tomorrow? Okay. Um, if you want to hang out with Kenton or Nathaniel, then you want to help out with, um, help find Lee's suit. If you want to hang out with Lysander, um, and probably Armin as well. I don't know. I've never played that route because... It doesn't have Nathaniel. <laughs> then you would want to look up information about managers at school. So obviously I'm going to help with Lee's suit because I want to hang out with Nathaniel. Okay, who else wants to go to the clothes shop tomorrow? If Alexey weren't angry with me, he would have said yes right away. It doesn't bother me to go. It will get me out of spending another day at school. Me neither. I can do it tomorrow. So we are three. I'm excited. I'm sure it will be great. And you, Rosalia, what are you going to do? I'm going to go see Lee and tell him what he has to do tonight. Then, um, then we will start training him to be perfect manager. Pompous and superficial, just like Deborah likes them. Wait, you stopped and told him. <laughs> see you tomorrow, and good luck. Ah, and another thing. Don't forget to be discreet during the next few days. Everyone went home. The next day after classes, I waited for the boys in front of the school. Okay, we have to go over here. Uh, you were discreet today. I couldn't wait for classes um, to end, and half the class hates me, so... You, what are you doing in town? I'm waiting for someone in front of the school. But we aren't in front of the school. I know. I should probably go back there. There they are. Did you get lost on your way? No, I took a little walk while waiting for you. <laughs> Normally when you wait for someone, you should wait in one place. <laughs> Lysander said the same thing yesterday. 
Let's go. Okay. We advanced, each of us on our own. <laughs> um, this is another part that I love. So obviously I'm going to get closer to Nathaniel. Something wrong? No, everything is fine. I just thought it, it's a shame to be alone when I have the opportunity uh, to be with you. He's blushing again. Me too. I would like to be alone with you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say this one. This one isn't bad either, but, um, and this one is stupid because he's like, because your candy is like, oh yeah, that wouldn't bother me at all. But then she's like, and then she says, and kitten too, which is stupid. Um, so I like see the best. If you ask me out, we could be alone on other occasions. Is that an invitation? <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, I'm just joking around. <laughs> you know, it's not that I don't want to. But between my studies and everything else, I don't have more free time. Today is exceptional. I know, I know, I was just a joke. But my subliminal message was as clear as day this time. <laughs> Since we are here, I wanted to talk to you. Uh, or, I'm sorry, since we are here, I wanted to ask you something. Oh, yeah, what's that? I would like you to stop talking to Castile and that you try to stay away from him. But why? Because I don't want to see you cry ever again, and especially not over a jerk like him. To know that he made you that sad made me very angry. Worse than when he accused me of trying to flirt with his girlfriend. Don't put yourself in such a state. It's Castile. He's a creep, and he'll end up regretting it one day or another. Exactly. Because he is a creep, you shouldn't have to talk to him any more than, you, than, any more than necessary. You don't need him. I'm here for you. Okay, his favorite answer is this one right here. <laughs> and that's the only one I've ever said. I would never say this to Nathaniel, and I would never say this either. I know, and I don't have the intention of talking to him. Don't worry. I ignored him yesterday. Really? That's great, Bakatenshi. That's the best attitude to have towards him. <laughs> you went into an instant smile. Well, that put you in a good mood. Of course it did. If you were set on trying to be nice to him, the knot in my stomach would have continued to make me suffer for a while. It affects you that much? You have no idea. I might, I must be imagining things, but when he is like this, I feel like Nathaniel likes me. We talked quite a bit. Here we are. We went into the clothes shop. We need a three-piece suit, something classy, with sunglasses to give him a cool look. Won't that be a bit cliché? Maybe, but it will work. Here, the black one over here, over there, it looks good, maybe. The gray one is nice, too. Okay, if you want the picture, you want to pick this one right here. I don't know. We'll have to try them on. <laughs> try them on? <laughs> yes, you don't want to try them on to see? If you want, I'm going to try the gray one, then. And I'll try the black one. <laughs> oh, man. I just said that on a whim. I never thought that they would actually do it. <laughs> I wanted... I waited a few moments in front of the dressing room, and they finally came out. I waited a few moments in front of the dressing rooms, and they finally came out. Don't... Don't make fun of us, all right? Of course not. I promise. See illustration. <laughs> I don't really like the way Nathaniel's hair is... Looks like he got a haircut in this picture. Wow, you guys look classy. We debated for a few moments on which suit to take. The boys were more than embarrassed and they <laughs> went to change. <laughs> um... 
what won't you make us do? <laughs> ah, sorry, but you looked so nice in those suits. If you say so. I feel more at ease in my clothes. I, um, I hope that Lee will be able to wear a suit like this one without any problems. Sure, don't worry. Fingers crossed, just in case. Let's take the black suit with the white shirt, all right? Nathaniel was right. It's classier. Okay. We left the store. And now, who wants to go give the suit to Rosalia? Me, I'll go. If Deborah sees you with it, she might find it weird. It's better to be too cautious than not enough. We are getting a little paranoid here, just a little. If we want to be believable, it's got to be Nathaniel. Why is that? Rosalia seems to like giving people makeovers and he really needs one. No, he doesn't. He's fine. <laughs> Excuse me? Whoa there. <laughs> well, yeah, the whole uniform uh, look was in when my parents were at school. And even then, you are the only one who comes to school wearing a tie. I like this outfit, and it's not at all out of style. It's, um, <laughs> it's rather your military pants from the 1940s that are out of style. Uh, I should stop them before this gets out of hand. <laughs> they are always better than your badly tied tie. You guys really don't want me to take care of it? No. Okay, okay, jeez. Stay calm. I'm going to leave them alone to fight it out alone. <laughs> I'm going home, man, and... <laughs> thought only girly girls get angry over things like that. <laughs> I went up to my room. That's done now. Now I just have to go to school tomorrow to see how Rosalia is doing on her side of things and if she got the costume. I wonder... I wonder if it would be better if I changed my outfit for the next few days. The plan is coming together and like Rosalia said, we need to be discreet. I left to go to the clothes shop. Yeah, I was already wearing it because I knew that's what I was going to do. <laughs> Here we are. With this I'll be perfect. I'll blend in with the scenery. <laughs> I went to school the next day. New objective. Ask Rosalia if everything... Uh, if she has everything she needs. Okay. What are you doing? I'm looking for Rosalia. Have you seen her? I saw her in the halls earlier. She shouldn't be too far, then. I finished a book yesterday, and... No, I don't... Um, hang on a second here. I finished a book yesterday, and... Now, I don't know what... To read now. Could you suggest something to me? Um, a police novel. Nothing is better. <laughs> I think I've already read everything about that. Try cr criminal biographies then. They're not bad either. I don't think that's my cup of tea, but I'm happy to see that you like police novels. <laughs> Here, do you want a copy of the new paper? Today's edition talks about all of your achievements since Deborah has come back. You know what you are doing is really mean, Peggy. Even if I didn't want to see it on paper, for everyone to see, you should have behaved correctly. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about coming to show you your paper on perp coming to show me your paper on purpose when you talk about me in it. Yeah, so I wasn't thinking about being mean. Just came out like that. And if you didn't want to hear people's comments, you shouldn't have done anything. She let out a little um she looked she left a little irritated i think um I think that this time I managed to get a bit get her at her a bit okay I'm gonna stop this here and do another project.